Well, um, there's undoubtedly uh, a prestige element involved in being the first on the moon, but uh, I think the real significant thing about the Apollo program, our lunar landing program, is that it uh, serves as a focusing point for a vast uh, scientific and technological effort that could never uh, have been mounted and uh, conducted with this kind of uh, determination had it not been for a firm target in, in space and time. In other words, uh, you cannot have a hard-hitting program uh, where you, uh, when you don't have a, a clear objective, like let's land a moon, uh, let's land a man on the moon in this decade. If you say, just let's go out into space and see whether we find it interesting, uh, you spend most of your time arguing with other people what the more important things are, and you don't get a job done. Uh, you also don't get congressional support for this kind of a thing. And uh, uh, the, uh, so it is really the byproducts of the Apollo program that are more important uh, than a timely landing on the moon itself. Um, I uh, like to see it as follows. Before you can implement any social program, you have to have a healthy economy that produces values, that produces uh, 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 an ever-growing uh, gross national product. Uh, I mean, as long as the population uh, is growing, that uh, gross national product must be larger every year or you really have a declining economy. So I think the first and foremost thing is to to uh, retain a viable industry, a viable economy, because only through a viable economy uh, can enough taxes be produced to finance social programs. <laughs>